First level witchcraft and first level masonry initiation is identical. The only difference is that my wrist was cut and I signed a blood pack and that I was nude and they are clothed. That's the only difference. The words, the acts, the tying, the blindfold, the charge, everything, even the pledge of secrecy is exactly the same. There's no difference. And the sixth level initiation of witchcraft blood sacrifice is the same initiation to the highest level of masonry, the 35th, called the right of the warrior on the block. 35th degree. The 31st degree, which most of our politicians are 35th degree masons. In the initiation in Freemasonry, we had to be recommended by another mason. Well, in order to join witchcraft, you have to be first screened. You have to be recommended by somebody currently in witchcraft. Well, when I was initiated, I was blindfolded and bound by a rope. And on your bare chest was thrust the point of a spear. In witchcraft, we were initiated through a, uh, a very involved ritual, uh, initiation ceremony, uh, wherein the uh, candidate was led uh, blindfolded, uh, bound by a rope, uh, to the edge of uh, the uh, magic circle. And the rope is around your neck and your lid forward. And up front, in the eastern end of the building, is a person who's a worshipful master. And you kneel down before him as if he were a god. What is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything to bite about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, is he the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the Internet. Oh, Amen. God bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach, is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. No. And you're, what you're about confirming those hospitals? They, you know, they, they you know what, sir? <clears throat> Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did not, we did not do these good deeds in your name. And you'll say, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus said it? In Matthew chapter 5. Mercy. No. That's hard to believe. So, you're a Christian and you don't know that. Actually... No, I really am. You are. Because that, I'm pure and virtuous. You're pure and virtuous, okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're perfect without Jesus, right? No, 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 no. Okay, tell me about Jesus. Who is Jesus? Oh. Well, he's, he's my leader. Is he the Son of God? Yes, he is. Is he the only worshipful master? Yes. Have you ever been called worshipful master? No, because I, I've just been too busy. I've been working. Working. Been working to help people. What like kind you. of work? Okay. Get out of here. <clears throat> See, this is what a Mason confesses, is that Lucifer is light. White magic and black magic is a Catholic term. When they were burning people at the stake for being witches, they wanted to protect themselves that practice it. So they invented the term white witchcraft or white magic and black magic. Witches in their books will tell you that it doesn't exist, as it was mentioned in Star Wars. And yet, when they're trying to convert a Christian, they will say they're white witch and not a black witch. And yet they'll tell you in their books it doesn't exist, which means they'll say anything to convert you. But uh, there is no such thing. The devil is evil, and you can't whitewash him or anything he does. You were met uh, by the a high priest or high priestess uh, at that time, usually with a sword uh, to your chest. When I went to enter the lodge, a sharp object was put to my left breast. And I was warned that should I reveal any of the secrets of Freemasonry uh, to know what to expect. When you're presented before the high priest, a sword is held against your chest and you actually take a blood oath promising to remain faithful to the secrets of witchcraft. Well, when you are in the room, this um, blindfold is taken away from you, and this is a time when they say that you're coming from darkness into light. During the initiation ceremony, the, the initiate is led by the lieutenant of the uh, high priest and is challenged at the edge of the circle by someone saying, who goes there? And the answer is, 
one from the world of darkness. In masonry, the prayers are ended with so mote it be. Oh, and one of the other aspects of, uh, or distinctives of the craft was that we would always end any spell or ritual where we released the power, this is where the power was released, with the word so mote it be.